fact, Einstein was the one that said, uh, we have to thank India for at least teaching us how to count. Now what that means is, is that the early tradition, they, they are very strong in mathematics. In fact, most of the uh, geometry, algebra, things like that that we uh, use today originally came from India. And they are very good in uh, architecture and astronomy. So yeah. this is what they use the advanced uh, mathematics for. But in, for example, Egypt, Rome, Greece, which was considered like the seed of Western uh, culture, right. but even China, they had taken their systems of mathematics to as far as they could go with it. In other words, they couldn't advance any further until they finally got what became known as the Arabic numerals, which were actually uh, script, uh, uh, numerals coming from the Brahmi script from India, yeah. which was an offshoot of uh, Sanskrit. So the Arabs got it from the Indians. The Arabs got it from the Indians, and they knew that because even they called it the al arkan al-Hindu, which means the Indian uh, number system, yeah. or Hindi style, which also means the Indian art. So they knew they got it from India. And then the scholars, the Arabic scholars, were very fascinated by the uh, numerical system and the mathematics that came from India. So they translated the Sanskrit literature into their language, which was later translated into uh, Latin, which then uh, entered from Arabia into Southern Europe and then expanded throughout Europe and became known as the Arabic numerals. Yeah. Which is a, 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 you know, a misnomer, really, because they're not Arabic numerals at all. They right. originally came from India, so they should be called the Indic numerals.